Dear Trinity, I just want you to know how much I love you and how special you are to me. You were my firstborn and I know that life hasn't always been easy for us. You being the older sister can always be rough. It's a lot of responsibility put on you and everything always feels like you have to make the better choices, be the better example, be the bigger person, be the smartest, be the bravest. And I know that can be really rough as everybody always looks up to you. Everybody always expects you to help them and be there for them. And that is a big responsibility to have on your shoulders. So I just always want you to know that you're loved and you're special and most definitely you're strong enough to handle everything that comes your way. You know, she's about to be 18, so it kind of feels like after this, you, as the kids get older, you start to see less and less of them. So it was just something to have as a memory and hold on to in case we, our lives kind of part ways and we don't get to see each other as often one day. You'll always have those memories. I'm very tough skin, so um, not a lot knocks me down. I can pretty much handle most things that get put in my path. Instead of stressing out about what's wrong, I, I try to figure out a way to fix what's wrong. I'm very genuine. I try to be very honest, you know? I try to be kind to everyone. I wish I could be as tough-skinned as her, but I'm not. <laughs> I try to instill in my kids that, you know, life is rough and life isn't always perfect and life isn't fair and you kind of just have to take it as you go. And she's learned to overcome every obstacle that's come her way and she's a hard worker. She doesn't expect anything for free. She appreciates everything she has and she definitely knows the value of money. I always feel very proud that I don't have to worry about her not be able to uh, be a self-sufficient human being. So I'm very proud of that. When we work together, that's yeah. like our bonding time. Yeah. We talk about clients, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't tell people, you're my... <laughs> um, you know, it's our, it's our time to complain about our, her sisters and Sean and, you know, talk about how dumb and stupid they are all the time. And, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. I feel like there's so many, I don't think that I've ever like made it, it's hard for me to think of just one time. So maybe this will be it? Yeah. yeah. So this will be a nice memory, yeah. I couldn't say one negative thing really. You know, she's hardworking. <laughs> I'm just she kidding. pay you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually she did pay me this morning. <laughs> For this, just for the week, you know. Yeah. Well, I kind of been wanting to do it for a while, and I just figured, you know, if we did it when she turns 18 and she graduates, it would be a special thing, you know, that we could do today. And especially this year now, since you know all of our graduation celebrations have been mostly canceled. What a year to yeah. graduate! <laughs> you feel bad as a parent not being able to celebrate your child's accomplishments, you know. It's like, yeah, she's not in juvie. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs>